What's up guys, JR Raymond back again. This time I'm coming to you from Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan. This is gonna be my new home. This is the home of MRB Classic Pro Shop. Mason Brantley is the owner here. And we're going to try and see if we can't do a few collaborating videos with some storm reviews, some rotor grip reviews, uh, because he is on Storm and Rotor Grip staff. But first, we're gonna redo some of these older videos that you've seen back in the day. And today, we're gonna to talk about increasing rev rates, so stay tuned. All right, so when we're talking about increasing rev rate, most people don't realize that it's one of the hardest things to really change. It's one of the hardest things to actually get done right. And when we're trying to create rev rate, it's not really about how fast your hand spins around the ball. Although it kind of is, the most important thing about increasing rev rate is all about how fast your thumb gets out of the ball compared to your fingers. So this is one of those key things with two-handers is why they're so it's so much easier for them to create rev rate. Their thumb's not in the ball. They don't have to worry about clearing. All they have to do is just rotate their hand around it and they're good to go. With us that use our thumb, increasing rev rate's actually really difficult. So this, I'm gonna show you an example here. This is what most people do. Most people, they don't have a ball that fits them properly, so they have a hard time getting their thumb out quicker. They end up having to squeeze the ball a whole lot to get their uh, to get the right grip on the ball or to be able to feel like they're holding onto it and they feel like they hold onto it too much. If you're gripping the ball super, super hard, you're never going to be able to create rev rate because your thumb and your fingers are going to come out at the same time. It's basically going to be like this. So that ball's just going to tumble and it's just gonna turn and it's just going to, however, rot whatever type of rotation you put on it, it's gonna be real slow because your thumb and your fingers release at the same time. Now there's three key components to increasing rev rate. One is getting your thumb out at the right time. Two is the yo-yo action with your wrist. And three, which we didn't talk about in the video before, is what your elbow does in the approach to create that extra power. So first, we're going to take a look. You've just seen how it is if I just release with both my fingers and thumb at the same time. Now, if I take this ball and I stand at the line and I get myself to release the thumb just a little bit quicker without wrist action, so my thumb comes out faster, that ball spins quite a bit more. So now I got quite a bit more rotation on the ball just by getting my thumb out faster. So your focus, if you are one of those people who will get your thumb out real slow and your fingers come out at the same time as your thumb, then you need to focus on getting tape put in the ball. You need to go take a look at my increasing your feel of your ball uh, video where I talk about tape and where you put tape. But now the next thing we want to focus on is that now that we've got our thumb out faster, we need to think about what our wrist does at the bottom. So our wrist is actually where we create the power because the wrist starts in a cup motion and then you go to an uncupped release at the very end. So when you do that, in combined with your thumb getting out faster, you can create a whole lot more rev rate. So just by cupping the wrist and then uncupping and doing the yo-yo release, so basically coming down, have you ever, have you ever used a yo-yo when you were a kid? You have that yo-yo in your hand and you would just go down with your wrist just like that. And you'd snap it off and watch that yo-yo spin super fast at the bottom. It's kind of the same thing with the bowling ball. You're going to have a cupped, cupped wrist and then you're going to release with your wrist and your fingers forward at the same time. So now that's not the only component. Those two aren't the only things that create rev rate. There's actually one more key key uh, component to increasing rev rate, and that is where your elbow bends in the release. Now, I know a lot of old school people always talked about don't bend your elbow, keep everything straight, because then you can gain some consistency that way, which is true, it is more consistent, but you're lacking a whole lot of leverage and power by not bending the elbow. So at the release, I'm gonna show you some videos of some guys who have this bent elbow at the release, but at the release, what happens is when I throw a shot, here, I'm gonna throw a shot and see if we can't slow it down. There's a certain spot there where you can see that at the side, when I'm up here, at one point, my elbow actually bends just a little bit. 
to get that snap, my wrist is underneath it, and then you straighten the elbow back out and you release there. One of the cool drills you can do in order to try and really get better at increasing your rev rate is if you're at home on your couch or if you have a couch or something soft you can throw a bowling ball into, you can stand there and you can literally do this, bend the elbow and snap it off and throw it into something soft. Don't break anything. Don't go throwing it into a wood pallet or, or something that's gonna hurt your hurt the ball or something that you're gonna, like a couch that has any, you know, if, if you care about the couch, then obviously don't throw it into the couch too much. That's gonna cause some damage. But make sure you go and practice these things. So again, it's one, it's your thumb getting out quicker than your fingers. The quicker your thumb gets out, the more you can rotate your hand through with your fingers to create a rev rate. Two, it is creating the cupped wrist to the uncupped wrist, creating the yo-yo reaction with your wrist. And then three, it's gaining that elbow bend at the, in, the, in the downswing coming through where you bend your elbow just a little bit going through the ball and you combine all three of those to increase rev rate. Now I know it's not an easy thing to do, but with practice and, con and consistent practice doing all those things or at least practicing one at a time, you can then combine them and get them to be better. So. I hope this helps. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna show you a little bit around in Mason's Pro Shop so that way you can take a look at where my new home is and where you will see Mason making some videos here shortly. So thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, head over to the other channel. I have a channel called Life's Traction Control, even though this is technically Life's Traction Control as well. Head over to that other channel and subscribe there. We're gonna be doing an awful lot of different type of videos. This will be the training videos. That one will be more like a little bit of talk, conversation, uh, more on the road at PBA events. You'll see stuff over on that channel. So pay attention to that. Stay tuned, and we will see you guys next time.